Hello Padmini. Hi. A very interesting game today. So can you take us through the game? Yeah, it was very interesting and uh, I thought after the opening I like I played some I didn't want to go into a lot of theory and I went for attack but I think she uh, saved it well and in the middle game I think she even got chances and uh, towards the end I think black was better but uh, she missed a tactics and uh, yeah I won the game. Okay, she has been performing very well in this tournament. Have you been following her games for this tournament and also the previous tournaments? Uh, no, I saw the games uh, yesterday while I was preparing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she has been playing quite well. Yeah. Okay. Did you, do you consider this game as one of the best games of the tournament you have played or it's a, it was an okay game? No, I don't think this was a very good game from my side because I think she had a lot of chances and mm -hmm. uh, even uh, at the very end when she blundered, uh, I think uh, there were some chances with, with look into C4 instead of she took bishop f6 and I got a direct checkmate. Mm -hmm. But if she had started with rook c4, the game would have gone on uh, with a major piece ending. And my pawn will be on g7, but it might die, and uh, then it'll, maybe it will be a draw. But yeah, it was not clear. Okay, uh, tell us a little bit about your opening choice in this game. Yeah, so this is my third uh, game as white mm -hmm. and all my opponents have been playing Karukan against me. Okay. So I'm, I'll see you in the next, uh, uh, yeah, we have three more games. So I think one or two, whatever white I get, we'll see if my, all my opponents play Karukan and make it 100% <laughs> Karukan tournament for me. So yeah, I, all these uh, games I'm trying uh, different, I try different lines against the Karukan to see what works best. <laughs> okay, and do you think that, uh, uh, what was the exact critical position where she blundered, uh, I mean, uh, where she could have done better? Yeah, I think uh, one position where uh, she went rook e8, if she had gone rook d8, then mm -hmm. what happened in the game, their rook on d8 would have been more useful. Okay. Because after d3, I could just take queen into d3 in the game with mm -hmm. rook on e8. Mm -hmm. But uh, that was one question and in the end, after I played f6, if she had taken rook c4 first, queen c4, bishop f6 and now she is threatening mate on b2 and a1, mm -hmm. I'll probably have to give up power rook into f6. Mm -hmm. That or after rook c4, I would have taken fg7, so that question was critical. Great game once again and uh, we wish you all the very best for the rest of the rounds. Thank you.